Well, even though the state Supreme Court still says the budget proviso is constitutional, Richland District 2 says they will still require face masks in schools. In a statement, the district superintendent, Baron Davis, says with more than 28,000 students in the district relying on him and other school leaders requiring face masks and following guidance from the CDC and DHEC and the state's Department of Education, it's the best way to limit the spread of COVID-19. And in Newberry now, the school district there says they do not plan to call a special board meeting to discuss taking up a mask mandate there. Kershaw County says they do not plan to issue a district wide mask mandate, but may issue ones in certain schools where COVID-19 is causing a large number of absences. Lexington District 1 says they will not be implementing a mask requirement. But students with disabilities who want a mask accommodation may apply for one and must provide medical documentation of that need. Meanwhile, in Lexington District 2, they already have a temporary mask mandate, which runs through October 31st. And Richland District 1 already has a mask requirement in place as well. We reached out to all the district, but these are the only ones that we have heard back from. And this evening in Sumter, the school district there says they are having a special called meeting to discuss whether or not they will implement a mandate. Sumter School District asked students and employees and parents and community how they feel about a mask mandate for staff and students. And they asked them that in a survey and of those who answered the survey, 68% of the community, 67% of the parents and 69% of the students 72% of the faculty, they are in favor of having a temporary mask mandate.